It's time to crack into the brand new Thunder Tiger Toyota Hilux. Is this everything that's cracked up to be inside of the box? Let's find out and open it up. It's Rich here from the RCNetwork.com, and today we have a pretty cool unboxing of the Thunder Tiger Toyota Hilux. Now, this is their newest four wheel drive, 112th scale off road pickup truck. This is the ready to run version, and I can't wait to crack into this thing. Now, of course, I am a sucker for older Toyota vehicles. I had basically an SR5 in the mid 80s, and I definitely like the body style and what they do represent for the older Toyota pickup trucks. Now, this is a 112th scale, so it is slightly smaller than your average scalers out there, like the SCX10 or the SCX102, which is pretty much the standard in the scale community. Now, later in this video, I will be comparing this 112th scale to a standard 110th scale SCX10. So stay tuned for that later in this video. There are three color choices available, the black, red, and of course, calling this the RC Network Blue, which is the color I picked up. On the flip side of the box, you get a look at some of the components that come inside, like the 2.4 gigahertz radio, front metal CVA drive shafts, metal turnbuckles, threaded body shocks, you do get some scale tires and wheels, even complete with the little center cap. Some of the main features include an officially licensed Toyota Hilux body. You do get some pretty cool bumpers, some four link suspension, aluminum battery tray. You do get a 380 sized brushed motor and waterproof ESC that also includes drag brake. You do get that 2.4 gigahertz radio we talked about earlier, full bearings. You do get a charger and you do get a lithium ion battery, 7.4 volt. As far as some of the measurements of this vehicle, the wheel Wheelbase is 225 millimeters, overall length 372, and the width of it is 177.8 millimeters. Finally, unboxing this thing is pretty simple, just letting her drop, and you get to see the truck right inside of there. Before we get to the star of the show, the Hilux over there, let's take a look at some of the supplement items that come inside the box. Starting with the TF3 2.4 gigahertz remote, it is a pretty good size and it fits the hand well. It does have a rubber wheel with like a faux little rotor and caliper inside of there, a little antenna that is non-foldable so it's not gonna break off, and it does take four AA batteries to power that up, which you do have to supply yourself. On the top of the radio, you'll find all the controls, including the on-off, you have channel reversing for both steering and throttle. You do have steering and throttle trims, which is nice, and also a steering dual rate to control how much throw you have on your steering. Some of the literature provided is a pretty decent owner's manual that has all sorts of different information, including model numbers and part numbers for some of the parts in this. Now, remember, this is a hobby grade RC, so you are able to replace the parts or maybe even upgrade them down the line. You get a user's manual for all of the electronics, so you know all all of the specifications and what they're capable of. You get a full sticker sheet that gives you a option to provide a vintage look to your Toyota Hilux. You also get a bind plug, a couple of Allen keys 1.5 and 2.0 to work on it. Yes, all metric hardware on this Hilux. You get a tiny little CD-ROM to give you additional information. Not sure what this is or even how to use it. This is 2017. You do get an extra battery strap. More on that a little bit later and I'll explain why you would need two. And finally, a lithium wall charger. This is able to charge off the balance plug of the included 7.4 volt 2S LiPo. It does have a little balance port on the side and a typical wall charger, so expect long charge times. And there it is. There is the Toyota Hilux from Thunder Tiger. Now, I'm pretty impressed with the body overall. It looks pretty good. I love the color of metallic blue, of course. At the Arsenal Network, I definitely like my blue colors. And I like all of the scale features, including the little bumper with the kind of push bar and little movable D-links right here. You do have the kind of 1980s roll bar with five little LED lights that are buckets, so you can add your LED lights in later. You do get little fender flares right here, all of the scale stickers like for the handle, even the little vent back here on the back side of the cab. On the back side of the Hilux, you also get a nice little bumper. You get kind of like a faux license plate. The Toyota emblem on the back is actually raised on the Lexan, and you do get 
a Toyota sticker that comes on the sticker sheet right there to actually make that a white logo that you'd see back in the 80s. The wheels and tires are actually pretty decent, although the tires are super thin and appear to be quite small on this large size of wheel. Now with that, they do take 12 millimeter hexes, but the scaleness of the wheel and tire is a little bit off. Almost looks like you're running like 22 inch wheels on this Hilux truck. Removing four body pins gets you into the chassis area and the body just simply lifts off. The chassis looks pretty well designed. It uses a standard metal C-channel rail system that everything rides onto. It does use four link suspension, both front and rear, and does have a chassis mounted servo with no pan hard bar. So you may get a little bit of bump steer on some of the obstacles, but it is a smaller scale vehicle, so it might be very unnoticeable. Looking at the underside of the vehicle, you do have solid axles, both front and rear, and they are locked differentials going up to a center mounted transmission. Not really a skid plate, but you do have kind of like a protective area right here for the transmission. Other notable pieces are the center drive shafts do have metal outputs coming off the transmission. Looking up front, you do have front universal drive shafts that appear to be metal. So you're going to have a little bit of strength and a little bit better steering with those universals. Looking at some of the electronics, you do get a 380 sized brushed motor doesn't really have a turn rating on it, but it does say 15,000 RPMs. On the flip side, you do get a brushed ESC that has a built-in drag brake. So you're able to have some pretty good performance when you're on the rocks and doing some descending. You do have a small, tiny little receiver that binds up to that 2.4 gigahertz remote. And finally, the battery is a tiny little 850 milliamp, 7.4 volt lithium ion battery. So very tiny battery. It does have a Dean's style plug and a balance adapter that you do charge off of with the included wall adapter. Um, but you can fit a much larger or double sized battery in this vehicle. The tray will accommodate it and you do have that extra battery strap to strap in a longer celled battery. The chassis mounted servo is labeled as a TC3 from Thunder Tiger. It is positioned in a chassis mounted position and includes a built-in servo saver. Now to give you a quick compare between the 112th scale Thunder Tiger versus a 110th scale Axial SEX10, there's about the difference. There is quite a bit of difference when you compare the two and I'm comparing it to an SR5 body that you'd see there on the right. A little bit better look at with the body off so you can really can see the difference in the tire sizes versus the chassis length and everything else. What I do give props to Thunder Tiger is they basically scale down a larger 110th all the way down to a 112th size and kept everything else pretty much in the same positions. Well guys, that is my unboxing of the Thunder Tiger 112th scale Hilux from Toyota. Really kind of dig this platform and I do like the size and also the scaling of this vehicle. It has a few quirks and things like that. And if you can get past not being able to really compete with this vehicle or take it on some of the terrain that your 110th skill goes on, I think this is a great platform. Well guys, that is it for now. If you have any comments or questions about this item, please post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now guys, over and out.